Amidst the mists of time, the legend of a samurai stretches far and deep, carrying tales of a unique and philosophical way of life. This figure is no ordinary person. He is Miyamoto Musashi, a warrior whose name is engraved in history as the master of two swords, yet more than that, as a philosopher deeply connected to a life full of meaning. But who is this Musashi really? How does a samurai blend fighting skills with a depth of thought that transcends eras? The glimpses of Musashi often conjure images of an unbeatable fighter, yet rarely delve into the essence of his profound life philosophy. Behind the layers of tales about battles and triumphs lies a narrative of searching for meaning, of a journey of self-awareness amidst destruction and victory. This is not just about swords and battles, it's about the way, a concept flowing through every aspect of life. Musashi, through his works and life, introduces us to a perspective that the greatest battle is happening within oneself. Do, or the way, becomes the center of all learning and discovery. How Musashi encapsulates all this into Go Rin No Show or Book of Five Rings, and what we can learn about navigating life's conflicts through his invisible swords. In this video, we will follow in Musashi's footsteps, exploring the depths of his philosophy that permeates the legacy of the samurai world, and discover how his principles still touch our lives, often filled with unseen battles. This is an invitation to embark on a journey, perhaps not with a sword in hand, but with the courage to face big questions about who we are and how we fight in the battles of life. Background, Miyamoto Musashi, Born around 1584 in Harima, Japan, Musashi was not just a warrior or samurai, he was a living legend whose life became an epic, not only on the battlefield but also in his contributions to the art and philosophy of the samurai. Miyamoto Musashi was born with the original name Shinmen, Musashi no Kami, Fujiwara no Genshin. He hailed from the samurai Shinmen family with some literature suggesting that he was the son of Shinmen Munisai, a swordsman and jujutsu expert who had a significant influence on Musashi's early development as a fighter. However, there are also sources arguing that Munisai was Musashi's mentor, not his biological father, adding layers of mystery to his origins. Reportedly, from a young age, Musashi showed great talent in martial arts winning his first duel at the age of 13 against a samurai named Arima Kihei. This victory not only demonstrated his skill, but also marked the beginning of Musashi's long journey in pursuit of perfection in the art of the sword and samurai philosophy. Musashi grew up in the late Sengoku period, a long era of civil war in Japan, conditions that undoubtedly shaped his views and fighting methods. Although information about Musashi's family is scarce and often mysterious, it is known that he lost his mother at a young age and was raised under the guidance of his father, Munisai, who later died, or possibly Musashi left, when he was still a teenager. Stories indicate that Musashi was later raised by his uncle, Durinbo, in a young monastery where he studied Zen Buddhism, which later had a significant influence on his philosophy and lifestyle. His skills and interest in the arts and calligraphy were also developed during this period, underpinning his understanding that the path of a samurai is not limited to combat skills alone. Musashi is known not only as an undefeated fighter in duels, said to have never lost in over 60 duels, but also as a philosopher and artist. He viewed martial arts not just as combat techniques, but as a way, do, to achieve enlightenment and self-understanding. Musashi's most famous book, Go Rin No Sho, or The Book of Five Rings, was written towards the end of his life, summarizing principles of strategy, tactics, and philosophy. Through this work, Musashi not only taught sword techniques, but also deeper life principles. One, reality as the best teacher. Raised in the late Sengoku era, a period marked by war and chaos, Miyamoto Musashi not only carved his name as one of the greatest samurai swordsmen of all time, but also as a visionary philosopher. Musashi's life story is not just about winning duels or swordsmanship skills, but about a relentless pursuit of wisdom through real life experiences. Reality as the best teacher becomes one of the pillars of his philosophy. 
a principle that not only describes his life journey, but also guides us in seeking truth and wisdom. Musashi, who lost his parents at a young age, was not given wealth, titles or guidance for his future. However, what he faced was reality in its purest form, solitude, uncertainty and the need to survive. Musashi took this reality as a field of learning. With a sword in hand and unwavering determination, he traveled the land, facing numerous dueling battles, not only to demonstrate bravery, but to sharpen himself, both as a swordsman and as an individual. Reality, as the best teacher, teaches us that the most valuable lessons often come from direct experiences. Musashi believed that only through experience could one truly master the essence of whatever they pursued. Musashi did not avoid or complain about the harsh reality. He embraced it. He understood that in every defeat, there are lessons to be learned. In every victory, there is room for improvement. This attitude forms the basis of his life, philosophy, an endless journey towards self-mastery. Musashi's story reminds us that reality is not something to be feared or avoided. Through challenges, failures and successes, reality offers invaluable lessons. Like Musashi, we must dare to face reality, learn from every experience and keep moving forward. In this way, we will not only master our skills or professions, but also find peace, wisdom and ultimately our true selves. 2. Perfection is a journey, not a destination. Musashi taught that perfection is a journey, not a destination, a philosophy ingrained in every moment of his life. From a young age, Musashi witnessed the harshness of the world. Yet amidst all the tragedies, he found his calling, Kenjutsu, the art of the sword. Musashi wasn't satisfied with just being an ordinary swordsman. He wanted to transcend the limits of human capability. Every duel, every fight, was his step towards self-enlightenment. Fight after fight, Musashi realized that victory wasn't just about defeating the opponent. True victory, he understood, was overcoming oneself, surpassing yesterday and continually evolving. For Musashi, life was like an endless sword practice, where every breath was an opportunity to become better. The circles he spoke of, earth, water, fire, wind and void, were principles for approaching life, flexibility, flow, courage, freedom from prejudice and emptiness of ego. Perfection, for Musashi, wasn't a trophy or medal to be achieved and displayed on a shelf. It was an inward view, a never-ending spiritual journey. In his journey, he also taught the importance of Kenjutsu, wielding the pen as well as the sword. Through his writings and poetry, he left a legacy as powerful as his sword. History has recorded Miyamoto Musashi not only as an undefeated swordsman in over 60 duels, some at a very young age, but also as the greatest teacher of the art of war, and beyond that, the art of life. In his final contemplative silence, Musashi departed this world with a last message in his unfinished work, Dokodo, or The Way of Walking Alone outlining 21 rules of life he followed, reflecting the essence of his life philosophy. Perfection is an endless journey where the true goal isn't to reach the summit, but to keep ascending step by step, gracefully in every breath until the end of life. 3. Adaptability One of the core philosophies Musashi instilled in every fiber of his life journey is adaptability. Musashi, through the struggles and battles of his life, teaches us the true meaning of adaptability. He shows that in navigating life, much like in his sword duels, the key lies not only in strength or technique alone, but in the ability to adapt. In his book, Go Rin No Show, The Book of Five Rings, Musashi wrote that a true fighter isn't one rigidly adhering to one style or technique, but one who can flow and adapt like water taking on any form according to the container. Critiques of this view might revolve around skepticism towards flexibility without steadfast principles. However, Musashi didn't celebrate uncertainty without roots. Instead, his adaptability was built upon strong discipline and a deep understanding of fundamental principles. Not without foundation, but a means to achieve sharper understanding and higher efficacy in action. 
This message is crucial in today's era, where change is the only certainty. In a fast-paced and ever-changing world, the ability to adapt to new environments, to accept and overcome challenges with flexible thinking, becomes key to not only survival, but also growth. Being adaptive doesn't mean losing one's essence, but rather showing strength in flexibility, wisdom in choices, and courage in facing uncertainty. Musashi's story invites us to reflect on the role of adaptability in our own lives. Are we brave enough to leave our comfort zones and challenge ourselves to adapt to new situations? Are we ready to see the world from different perspectives and learn from it? Musashi, with sword in hand and philosophy in heart, provides inspiring answers. Through Musashi's story, we are invited to view adaptability not as coercion, but as a journey inward. A journey full of possibilities to master the art of adaptive living, flowing with life and ultimately achieving the highest form of true freedom. It's a journey full of challenges, also rich with lessons to mature us in various aspects of life. 4. Emptiness This is not about absence but an attainment of the deepest self-understanding and the universe. Musashi, born of battle smoke and educated by the harshness of nature, regarded emptiness not as loss but as an opportunity to find true wisdom. Through emptiness, he teaches us to shed all prejudice and rigidity of mind, guiding us to a path where all possibilities can unfold. Emptiness, for Mutsashi, is an empty canvas, a stage without boundaries where the mind is freed from all shackles and can move freely. Here, in this boundless space, a warrior, and any one of us, can find true strength. Musashi believed that by understanding emptiness, one could respond to anything in life with flexibility, calmness and unparalleled sharpness. Musashi's story is a journey from clashing swords to the depths of meditation, where he not only talks about battle strategies, but also life strategies. Through battles, he teaches us that true victory isn't achieved by defeating the opponent, but by overcoming weaknesses within ourselves. Emptiness, thus, becomes a medium for introspection and self-purification, to attain enlightenment about who we are and how we interact with the world around us. Musashi explores emptiness not only through his sword, but also in art, writing and actions, proving that this principle can be applied in all aspects of life. The samurai shows that in emptiness, there's boundless potential for growth and innovation, inviting us to see the world not as it is, but as it could be. Through the story of Miyamoto Musashi, we are reminded that emptiness is not the end, but the beginning. It's not about non-existence, but about unlimited possibilities. In emptiness, we find ourselves, and in that understanding, we gain the power to change the world. Musashi, though living centuries ago, his story and philosophy of emptiness remain relevant, teaching us that in the vastness of emptiness, there's an unseen canvas where we can paint our own destinies. 5. Two Swords, One Soul The concept of two swords, one soul, depicts the core of Musashi's philosophy. For him, swords weren't just weapons, they were extensions of the user's soul. The philosophy not only teaches about fighting techniques, but also about how to harmoniously wield two aspects of life, physical and spiritual. In Two Swords, One Soul, we are invited to understand that every challenge, conflict or battle we face in life is actually an opportunity to learn, grow and improve ourselves. Musashi himself never stopped learning. Despite being known as an undefeated swordsman, he also honed skills in calligraphy, ink art and sculpture, showing that the pursuit of perfection isn't limited to one field. Musashi's philosophy teaches us about the importance of balance between strength and gentleness, mind and soul, and action and introspection. He not only emphasizes the importance of physical skills in battle, but also the use of wisdom, intuition, and self-understanding. It's a lesson on how to face conflicts with a calm heart and clear mind, how to flow with the universe rather than against it. The story of Miyamoto Musashi, with two swords, one soul, at the core of his philosophy, is a stirring tale of a lifelong quest for wisdom, the courage to face uncertainty, and the strength to overcome every obstacle. 
He doesn't just teach us how to become better fighters, but also how to become more whole humans. Someone who continually strives to understand the world we inhabit and our place within it. Musashi leaves a legacy that reminds us that in every challenge, there's an opportunity for growth. In every duel, there's a chance for introspection. In every story of his, there's inspiration for all of us, teaching us that the greatest truth is often found in the journey itself, not the destination. 6. Flow like water. This philosophy not only teaches about flexibility in combat, but also in navigating life. Water flows endlessly, adapting to whatever shape obstructs it, without ever losing its essence. Musashi argues that a samurai, or anyone seeking excellence in life, must have the ability to quickly adapt to every situation without losing the core or principles of self. In every battle or challenge, Musashi observed, like water, we must be able to take the form of the container we're in. Whether it requires strength and courage or gentleness and calmness, flowing like water means being aware of our strengths and also our weaknesses, to not just survive but also thrive. Musashi's philosophy isn't without criticism. Some might view the approach of flowing like water as possibly lacking steadfast principles. But is this true? In a deeper understanding, Musashi didn't advocate for losing principles or self-integrity as water changes shape aimlessly. Instead, he promoted awareness and adaptability guided by wisdom within. It's not about compromising on values, but about a deep understanding of when to stand firm and when to be flexible. Flowing like water also teaches us about the strength of relentlessly adapting, seeking new paths continuously, never being stuck or pushed by obstacles but always finding ways to pass through, as if carving a new channel. Beyond martial arts, this philosophy resonates with anyone facing uncertainty and challenges in life, providing inspiration for a life that not only survives in storms but also learns to dance in the rain, always flowing, exploring and never losing, the true essence in the process of adapting and evolving. 7. End of Life At the twilight of Miyamoto Musashi's life, the philosophy he instilled became not only a legacy for warriors and artists, but for anyone pursuing excellence in various aspects of life. In solitude, Musashi penned his thoughts in Gorin no Sho, or the Book of Five Rings, a work that encapsulated the essence of his life journey as an unmatched swordsman and master artist. Musashi, who spent his life wandering and engaging in over 60 undefeated duels, found at the end of his life that the true essence of strength lies not in swordsmanship skills or victory in duels. Instead, it lies in the tranquility of mind, steadfastness of heart and harmony between the soul and the universe. He taught that true victory is not defeating opponents on the battlefield, but overcoming fear, doubt and self-imposed limitations that hinder us from reaching our full potential. The concept of Sui Zen or Sweeping Zen symbolizes Musashi's end-of-life philosophy, indicating that every movement from the simplest to the most complex can be a form of meditation and self-discovery. It invites us to see every challenge not as an obstacle but as an opportunity to sharpen our minds and souls. In solitude, Musashi also delved into the art of painting creating works that captured the essence of life and the beauty of nature with strokes that appear simple yet profound. This teaches us that in simplicity lies truth often found. Musashi's message to the world is that everyone is a swordsman in their own journey, where their sword is their mind and heart. He urges us to navigate life with courage, focus and integrity, perfecting ourselves every day not only in skills or careers, but also in goodness, wisdom and harmony with nature and others. The story of Miyamoto Musashi reminds us that at the end of the journey, what is most valuable is not what we have accumulated physically, but the depth of character, wisdom and contribution to the world. It is a tale of how a swordsman becomes a life teacher, teaching us to make our own lives a work of art, achieving victory not with swords but with an unbeatable heart and soul. Hope this helps. Until next time, thank you.